evening everyone this is Rob Desai with the tropical update and the overall weather outlook for Tuesday October 2nd 2018 uh, and you can see uh, we do have quite a lot to talk about today uh, not just in the tropics but also we have some severe weather impact in the northeast region as you can see on the radar in the uh, north corner here uh, but first let's start off with talking about uh, major Hurricane Sergio, which has been impressing lately, has rapidly intensified to a Category 3 hurricane. Uh, but the good news with this one is that it's not going to impact any land, at least not anytime soon, as it heads to the open waters of the Pacific Ocean. And now looking at the Atlantic Basin, uh, we do have this new area of disturbed weather, a 0% chance within 48 hours and 5% chance within five days of development. Um, but most of the models, I think actually all the models are developing the system uh, within the next uh, at least five to six steps, uh, maybe even seven days. Uh, but most of the models are developing the system eventually. And it does say some gradual development of the system as possi is possible later this week into the weekend as it does uh, drift um, here in the northwestern Caribbean Sea. Uh, and you can see if we go back to the satellite radar loop, it is uh, this area here producing some heavy thunderstorms in the Central Caribbean Sea. Uh, it's not developing, can't develop just yet, because it is, impacting, it is getting impacted by some uh, wind shear around 20 knots to 30 knots right now. Uh, but as you can see, wind shear is starting to lessen overall in the Caribbean. And as the wind shear uh, decreases, the conditions will become more favorable for tropical cyclone development. And so the system uh, will be more likely to be developing towards the end of this week into the weekend. And now taking a look at Tropical Storm Leslie, our lone tropical storm in the, uh, in the Atlantic at the moment. Uh, it's a uh, strong tropical storm now with winds of 70 miles per hour. You can see on the satellite image that the, the uh, shape and the appearance of the storm has definitely been more and more um, impressive lately as it's had some very nice outflow and it's starting to develop an eye here in the center as well. And it should become a hurricane at any moment. And if we take a look at the cone, however, uh, the, the good news with Leslie is that it's not going to be impacting any land, uh, at least not anytime soon. Maybe eventually uh, whatever is left of it, extratropical uh, remnants may impact Europe. As some models do show that, but that will be several days from now. Um, and for the next the near future, the next uh, five days, it's going to remain a hurricane at least through Saturday. And it's going to be just slowly drifting northward and then eventually eastward and not impacting the U.S. or Canada or any other land masses in the near future, which is definitely good news. And if we take a look at the models now, the European model, the 12Z run, um, it does show the disturbance. Um, sorry. Uh, it does show the disturbance developing here uh, just north of, in between, sandwiched between Jamaica and Cuba. Uh, but if it does develop here uh, in this location, then it's probably going to dissipate rather quickly as it would be interacting with the mountains of eastern Cuba. And with a, at that strength, a weak tropical storm will probably just get ripped apart by the mountains. Um, and if we take a look at the GFS model, however, the GFS also has the system uh, developing, the disturbance development here, but it has it much, uh, quite a bit further west. It has it just south of western Cuba, the tip of western Cuba, uh, and it has a moderate tropical storm, uh, and then it does eventually uh, take it further west and eventually into the Gulf of Mexico, but by that point that would be about seven to eight days in the future, and it's too far in advance to know for sure what's going to happen with that. It's even, two, even five days in advance is pretty far. Um, and But we'll have to wait and see what happens with that, but interests uh, along the Gulf Coast of the U.S. and here in the Caribbean should be paying attention to the system as it starts to develop, if it does in fact develop. And if you take a look at the FV3, the new GFS model, uh, you can see that it shows a similar situation. It's actually to the European, not the GFS. It has a system uh, sandwiched between Jamaica, Cuba, and Haiti. A, it would be a, um, relative, a moderate tropical storm, 1,001 millibars, that would roughly equates about 50 mile an hour tropical storm. Um, again, though, if it does develop in this area, it would probably dissipate and get ripped apart rather quickly due to land interaction. Um, but again, we'll have to wait and see what happens with that disturbance. It's still several days in advance. It's not even uh, developed yet into any named storm or depression even. Uh, it's not even an invest yet, not even an area of investigation at the moment. So we'll have to wait and see what happens with that system. <clears throat> and now taking a look at some non-tropical related stuff. We have some very uh, heavy, some severe thunderstorms, even some 
Uh, tornadoes have been forming here uh, in New York and Pennsylvania, and now these storms are starting to head into uh, New Jersey. And if you do take a look <coughs> at the radar, zoomed in radar, uh, this is from the Mount Holly Weather Station, uh, you can see that there's actually a tornado warned uh, cell right here um, about to enter Warren County, New Jersey. It's actually uh, going to be approaching close to where uh, I live, uh, not at the moment, because right now I'm at college uh, in New Brunswick. I go to Rutgers University. Um, but my hometown of Haggistown, New Jersey, which is right about here where my mouse is pointing right now, and the cell is going to be heading in that general direction. Um, and so I hope that my family stay safe. I did tell them about the storm, that there is a tornado warning. Um, so hopefully, uh, and hopefully everyone else in this area does also stay safe. Because uh, to tornadoes have actually been reported in uh, Pennsylvania. There have been a few sightings of tornadoes. And so this storm will continue to head uh, east into areas of New Jersey. Uh, it'll probably start weakening soon as the sun has set and the daytime heating is over. And these storms typically start to lose a little bit of fire once it starts getting dark. Um, but it's still, at the moment, it is still strong. It's still capable of producing a tornado. Um, so I hope that everyone here is paying attention to this and is staying safe. And if we do take a look now at the GFS model for the next few days, uh, after this system moves through this severe system, um, we will have a little bit of break uh, in the action for Wednesday. But then Thursday, uh, late Thursday evening to early Friday morning, there's another chance for some showers, but it won't be and it shouldn't be anything severe, which is good news. And if we do take a look at the rest of the weekend, it does look nice. Could be another chance of showers, maybe early Sunday morning. But apart from that, the rest of the weekend does look great. And if we take a look at temperature-wise for um, the next few days, you can see that uh, tomorrow will be another mild day with temperatures in the mid to upper 70s for much of the region. However, cool temperatures here in, in New York with only highs in the 50s. Um, and if we take a look at Thursday, it's going to be uh, even warmer than Wednesday, actually. It's going to be... Temperatures in the 80s for much of the mid-Atlantic region, even approaching the 90 degree mark here in southern Virginia and in areas of North Carolina. So the summer-like weather is going to be continuing for the foreseeable future. However, we'll get a little bit of a break for Friday and for Saturday with temperatures cooling down into the mid-60s. But then the heat does return on Monday with temperatures back into the upper 70s uh, to low to mid, even uh, approaching 90 degrees again uh, in Virginia and in the D.C. area. So it does look like the summer-like temperatures will be continuing for the foreseeable future. That's all for today. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, everybody.